guys welcome back to my channel so I know I've been gone for a really long time but I've been really 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 busy and I know youtubers say shit like that like bitch you ain't that busy but no for real though like I've been so busy I have not been this busy in forever so yeah it's gonna be a minute before I can like film videos again until I move into my apartment which I have a separate vlog for and that's gonna be a whole different situation but I'm currently working on it right now I have been like searching for apartments and shit and anyways but yeah so on to the story time oh also y'all probably like bitch this hair yes I decided to I'm not gonna do straight hair for the rest of the year like I'm just going to have curly hair in all the time like that is what I feel like was made for me I mean I am black so yeah and also if you guys are wondering where I get this hair from I'm I am actually like selling this hair so um, you guys stay tuned for that because I will start selling this hair and I will be making it affordable I think that's really important because people be like yeah I'm selling hair and then they start making that shit four hundred dollars five hundred dollars like who can afford that I'm going to be making this very affordable this is like three bundles of 20 inches it's extremely huge so yeah I'm going to be making this hopefully college student friendly because I remember when I was in college and I wanted me a new hairdo and I could not do that unless I got my refund check you feel me anyway so back to my story my first crush I've ever had boy this is gonna be eh. okay so as usual, I am not going to be making no code names or no shit. If you know who it is, you know who it is. If you don't, then whatever. Um, so when I was in high school, as I said, when I was a freshman in high school, no one was checking for me. I didn't go up yet. I looked pretty hideous. Like, I didn't know how to dress. I didn't know how to do my hair. I just looked like a burlap sack every time I went to school. Like, I just looked like crazy. Sophomore year is when the glue up happened. Like, I glowed up. So, sophomore year, that's when dudes were starting to give me play. Like, hey, you kind of cute and you knew you're not from here. I want to get to know you, whatever. But there was this one guy I had my eyes on. And I had my eyes on since freshman year. We had the same class together. We had biology class together. And I would sit behind him and I would watch the back of his head all biology class. Like, I was in, I wouldn't say I was in love with him, but I was like so like obsessed with him like so obsessed he was actually one of like the most popular guys at school and he had a girlfriend of course this little stupid guy and his girl whatever who nobody was worried about that you know I wasn't worried about that <laughs> um yeah this little guy and his girl so his name was Shira and her name was Taniqua so yeah they were like one of, like they were the couple of the Kula like they were the most popular couple everyone wanted to be them everybody wanted to Nico everybody wanted Shara everybody just wanted a piece of them like they were just that couple to fuck with and they were so cool looking like Shara was just like I don't give a fuck about nothing I don't care about school but I'm like actually like 4.0 GPA like kind of like that and he was actually a drug dealer and yeah he was like a legit drug dealer and he actually killed a couple people anyway so um yeah i was really like oh my gosh like i want to be with him but i knew in freshman year i was way out of my league i literally did not even talk to him i never said nothing to him because i did not want to be embarrassed or anything like that like he kind of looked like one of those guys that would slick embarrass you if you like were out of his league and you came up to him kind of those guys so i was like i'm not gonna do that so anyways sophomore year happens and i was looking good and then i remember one day he was kind of just looking at me like hmm what's up what's good so somehow we started talking and i was like oh my god the finest guy in school wants me like he's like actually like giving me some play like he's actually interested in getting to know me whatever mind you he had this little girlfriend they would be off and on all the time if you like watched my um my i'm a home wrecker um video it's this it's the same couple it's the same couple i was like not even worried about her i was just like you know what he's trying to give me play that's all i'm worried about because i want him to be my man i'm fine he's fine we're gonna be the new you know it couple in high school so that's the only thing that's worried on my mind so yeah mind you i was a side chick the whole time there is like both of us were side chicks the whole time let me just clarify that there is no such thing as a main chick 
there's no such thing. Both girls are getting played in this story today. So, Shia, whenever he was off with Taniqua, he was on with me. He was on with me. He was on with me. And then he was back with Taniqua, like, ew. And I would throw shade every time I seen him. I'd be like, ew. Uh. And then me and my friends would, like, see them and we'd be like, that's nasty. What are y'all doing behind that corner? Like, ew. Nobody's front. Like, no one's, like, trying to see that. We would just, like, throw shade whenever we saw them together. At this point in time, I kind of was like getting popular in school and this is like a huge reason why I was getting popular in school because I was trying to snatch this boy from his little girlfriend I guess the fact that he was giving me play everyone was like whoa because there was other girls that were trying to snatch him too but I was the only one that was semi successful because he actually gave me play he actually was trying to claim me and stuff anyway so there was that she hated me. She still hates me. And I hate her ass too. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And to this day, he still will try and get with me. I promise you. But I'll I'll leave the receipts later. Anyways, so one day, I'm thinking in my plan of snatching him up and making us official, um, I'm going to invite him to my house. So one day, me and him talking after school, and he's like, yeah, what you up to later? And I was like, um, nothing. And at this point, I'm not used to hanging out with nobody outside of school after class I was kind of an awkward person like hey it's lit during school and then after school I don't go out on the weekends I don't go out after school like I don't do anything like I'm literally just like okay it's me and my family like my friends didn't exist outside of school you know what I mean I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about so yeah so he was like what are you doing after class and I was like nah and I'm gonna be home whatever and he was like all right how about I swing through and you know we can chill so I was like oh my god really I was like okay cool so that was the day that was on a Wednesday so I'm thinking yeah come over tonight like that'd be perfect because my mom is you know she works in the hospital and she works like crazy shit so she's not gonna be there so boy oh boy he comes over mind you he doesn't have a car he don't got nothing there's the P had to have like before uber was a thing he had to have people like text people they would come get him wherever he was at in Georgia they would come get him because he was that nigga like everybody fucked with him so he would have people come and snatch him up drop him off even if it's like East Bumblefuck they will drop him off wherever he wants and they will he will call somebody else and they'll come pick him up when he's done so he had somebody drop him off in front of my house he came in and I was like hey Shira <laughs> I was just waiting on your call, you know. So anyway, so we were chilling, Netflix and chilling. Um, we're chilling in the bed, mind you. This is like one of the first times I've had sex. Like, I was. <laughs> it wasn't my first first time, but it was like one of the first times. You know what I mean? Those first trial runs. So we did the we did the deed. If you haven't caught that little Netflix and chill thing, we did the deed. And I didn't know how people reacted after sex. I was like really new to it. So after we finished, I was like, woo, oh my God, wow. I feel like a new woman. Like, whoa, that was crap. Whoo, is it high there or is it just me? Like, whoa, I was just so extra. I was so dramatic. I was just like doing the most. I was just like, wow oh wow Shira oh my god and he was just sitting there like are you okay and I was like yeah yeah I'm, I'm okay I, I I just thought um I didn't know what to say so he was just like uh okay I okay anyways so after he was like you know getting ready to leave guess who pulls up a car pulls up and I'm just like is that your ride and he's like no and I was like wait a fucking minute that's my mom I was like oh my god like what is she doing here then I just like I was frozen when I was looking at the window because my bedroom overlooks the driveway and I saw a car coming through so I was like stuck I didn't know what to do I'm literally calculating shit in my head like I'm getting my ass beat today is he gonna get his ass beat today too? Like I'm literally thinking these things because at this point it's done. It's a done deal. There's a boy in my house who just had sex. It smells like sex, like teenage sex in here. Like, and my mom is going to know. So I was just like, I was stuck. I was so frozen. And he was like, Janelle, Janelle, what are we gonna do? And I was just like, we're gonna wait for death to come to us. <laughs> like I was literally just like, 
what can we do, Shira? There's nothing we can do. But anyway, so I got into my senses and I was like, you know what? Go in the closet. So I put him in the closet. And because at this point it was too late to bring him downstairs and put him through the back door Like we had ran to the foot of the stairs and then she was like she already had her key in the door and we could see her She couldn't see us, but I was like shit. No, just like go in the closet So he run, we run back to my room put him in the closet and my mom comes in I'm just thinking what is she doing here? Because she usually has like really crazy shit. She doesn't come home till 10 I usually don't ever see her and then I remembered fuck Wednesday is her short day like she comes home early on Wednesdays. How could I have forgotten that so At this point I put him in the closet. He's just like chill He's caught after the initial like what are we gonna do? He was just calm and chill and I guess he realized like what could happen like what's the worst that could happen? You know, I've killed people what could possibly happen to me now? I like you know, I'm constantly checking to see where she's at I'm constantly checking the closet to see if he's okay And he's just on his phone like texting his next ride to come pick him up because he's like I guess he's over it So he's just like whatever. I'm straight just texting on his phone like I'm straight How about you? Oh, this is gonna be a weird situation for you, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know why, but when my mom was coming up the stairs, I didn't really hear her coming up the stairs because I was panicking. Like talking to Shira in the closet, not really realizing she was coming up the stairs. So I was just like, are you okay Shira? Is your vibe going to come get you right now? Okay, we're going to need to make a plan, this and blah blah blah. And she, but as, as a Jamaican parent usually does, because you're not allowed to lock doors in their house. She just bust open the door and was like, who ya talk to? Who ya chat with? And I was like no one and I close like the closet door like slowly but like try not to make it noticeable and I'm like why am I talking to this guy like obviously she's gonna know I'm talking to somebody so she just came in the room and she was like mm-hmm 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 what's going on in here I know somebody up in here I was like please lord like please don't let like please don't make her rip him a new asshole like please lord i don't know what she's gonna do i know he's crazy he's hood as fuck i don't know if he's gonna fight her like i'm literally fearing for her life because i know her she's gonna try something but him he's a psychopath like he's a drug dealing ex-convict fucking like i kill people i shoot people like what she actually has done like one of those i'm from gwinnett and i need to prove myself to the world that i'm hood kind of guys like i'm suburban but i want to be hood kind of guy and yeah so i was like i really don't know what's gonna happen so she's checking the <laughs> she's checking the bathroom she's like being super extra because my mom is really dramatic <laughs> she's like busting down the doors she's snatching curtains she's looking behind everything she drops down on the ground <laughs> she literally just drops on the ground to look underneath the bed I was like that was extra you didn't have to drop like that like a full just drop she looks under the bed she actually checked in her room to see if I put him in her room and nothing and I'm thinking that's the perfect time for me to go in the closet snatch him and make him run downstairs but then she leaves her room but something is just telling her something someone's in the house and she finally goes into the closet and the whole time I'm just like <gasps> I'm literally like screaming I don't know what to do she opens the door Shira's just standing there like what up he literally says what up smiling and laughing the whole time he was just like what up <laughs> like, I, was, I didn't know what to do but me seeing him smile and laugh kind of took pressure off me I don't know why but it took pressure off me and gave me some like some boldness gave me some confidence so she was like who are you get to the mirror who are you what the god is ya like she's like do you have sex with her what's going on like sorry my jamaican accent can only go so far she was like screaming at him and he was like he was laughing the whole time and i guess he realized i don't really have to answer any of your questions she was like who are you what is your name and he was like jason <laughs> like Jason and she was like she's asking him all these questions but he wasn't answering so she was like you know what just get out of my house just get out 
So he just was like, okay. And then he just opened the door, started walking. And then he walks down the stairs. He look, I'm looking at him off like the balcony. My mom's looking at him. She's so mad. She doesn't know what to do. She wants to put her hands on him, but she knows. He says, she just has that look, like that hood look, that I don't give a fuck look, that I will shoot your ass up look. Like he just look, he has a really mean looking demeanor. He's walking down the stairs. He looks up and he's like, I see you tomorrow, Janelle. And I was like, bye, Shira. Or I know I was like, bye, Jason. And my mom blows, like her mind is blown. Cause at this point, she's like, what is going on? What do you mean, see you tomorrow? At this point, we go to the same school. So yeah, we're gonna see each other. But he was just like so bold with that shit. I think I was like, my panties almost dropped at that point. I'm not gonna lie, my panties dropped a little bit. My mom was so mad. She was like, what? What do you mean see you tomorrow? I'm calling the principal, this and that, blah, blah. And then she was like, as Jamaicans do, they get really like extra. She was like, if you wanna go live with him, go live with him. I'm done with you. Go pack your shit up and go live with him. And at this point, she's trashing my room. She's like, Everything on my dresser, she just took, like, she just, like, everything on the floor, just, like, taking my clothes out of the closet. Like, she's just, like, going ham for no reason. Like, I'm just, like, okay. And I took my, pick up my school bag, and I head downstairs. <laughs> I literally did not touch anything. I just grabbed my school bag, I head downstairs, and, um, I was, like, peace. And then I walked through the door and I started walking and I can't find him nowhere so I'm assuming his ride came. So I'm calling him, I'm calling him and I'm just like, Shia, my mom kicked me out of my house, can I spend the night by you, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, when I say I had so much confidence because he was like confident, so I was confident and I was, my mom literally didn't know what to do. So she was just like, get out of my house. Like that's how she was, she was like, get out of my house, I guess. Like she, when she kicked me out, she didn't really mean to kick me out, I guess. So. I was walking up the street thinking, okay, I'm gonna call my little scammer boo up and he's gonna come and snatch me up and we're gonna go live a Hollywood gangster life together. So he finally answers the phone and I'm just like, my mom kicked me out. Can you come get me, please? I got my bags and everything. I'm ready. You don't have to meet me in front of my house. I already walked up half the neighborhood so you can come get me. And he was like, no, you need to go back into your mom house and go apologize because I can't take you nowhere, girl. What do you mean? And I was like, my heart like broke, it shattered. I was like, but she kicked me out, Shira. <laughs> and he was like, you need to go apologize to her and go back in there because I'm not coming to get you. I gotta go, bye. And he hung up the phone on me. And I was like, I literally did not know what to do. I didn't know what to do. So anyways, I went back home reluctantly and at this point my mom was like I didn't mean to kick you out you know you just acting kind of crazy because your father not here you need to be a little bit more respectful and you need to like she just like calm down and she was like just clean up your room and then you know I you won't get in trouble so I was like okay and that was pretty much it like I just cleaned my room after she trashed it and then just that was it she just kind of forgave me but then had her eyes on me realized that I'm out here Anyway, so yeah, that was one the first time we got caught. The first time we got caught with my scammer boo. So the second time we got caught, <clears throat> a little later on in the year, this is actually when my father was home. Like when my father decided to come back from New York. But one day again, after I didn't see the light the first time, I went back and I kept fucking with Shia because I thought he was so fucking cool. So again i i think i had like iss that day which is in school suspension uh, in school sun in school suspension yeah that's what I, iss is so when you don't have the option of going you know be suspended and being off school campus you have to be in school campus which is literally like jail i swear to bob it's like jail. i had iss that day and i'm just like i feel like i've been cut off from the world like i want to see people and so I, I hung out after school, you know, just chilling with people, you know. So one day, Shire just happened to be after school. Well, he's always after school, drug dealing, so whatever. So he, you know, hits me up and he's like, what are you doing? Let's meet up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So he hits me up and he's just like, sup, scammer boo, like, what you trying to do tonight, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, um, I don't think I could go anywhere because you got me in trouble the other day, but I'm after school right now, you know, I'm chilling. And he's like, oh, okay, let's meet up, whatever. I got a little spot that I can take you to and no one's gonna see us. At this point, 
there was no such thing as Netflix and chill. There was no chilling equal to children. Like there was none of that. So when a guy said let's chill, I'm thinking we really just about to chill and about to talk and you know we have a heart to heart. That's what I'm thinking. Like that's how it was back in the day. There was no side chicks. There was no none of that. I feel old. I was like, okay, so we met up. We met up and um he was like, let me take it to the spot. So he took me to the spot. And the spot ended up being faculty bathroom. The spot ended up being faculty bathroom. It's like no one comes here, you know, all the staff are gone because, you know, it is after school. So there should not be no faculty coming into this bathroom. So we go in there, we make out. We didn't really do anything. I was feeling like really like something's gonna happen kind of like oh my I'm getting bad vibes so I was like I don't really want to be in here and I don't like bathrooms and let alone making out in the bathroom matter of fact if it was after school why the hell are we going into a bathroom to make out why couldn't we just do it out in the open see that's another reason why I was the damn side chick and I didn't even realize it after we like make out for like 12 seconds we leave the bathroom but we leave it one at a time apparently that was like oh so inconspicuous if we left it one at a time so i left first and shia leaves literally five seconds after like he did not even wait he just like left five minutes after and i'm walking but when i'm walking i pass the school principal and i'm like hey um what's his name mr knight so i'm like hey mr knight and he's like hello you know have you been in any trouble lately isn't that blah 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 mind you the principal's black and he's cool as fuck and he's like we would all go to his office to hang out because he's like cool so i like i'm chatting with him but then i realize fuck shower is about to come out and we're like literally around the corner from the school bathroom or from the faculty bathroom he comes out and he starts like laughing. I guess he does like a nervous laugh thing and he's like <laughs> And then he turns around and tries to walk the opposite direction. And then Mr. Knight, he literally sits there and he's just like And he's putting the pieces together in his head and I'm like, okay, gotta go Mr. Knight. See you tomorrow. And I start walking and he's like, I both of y'all come over here right now. He was like, what were y'all doing? Y'all both came out in that bathroom. I saw both of y'all come out in that bathroom. Y'all thought y'all slick. Y'all little, y'all little fast goats out here. Think y'all slick. Just out here humping wherever y'all can find. Y'all, any little thing. Any, every place y'all trying to hump in every little place. The child is just laughing. And I'm just sitting there like, wow, this is happening again. Like, what the fuck? So the next day, I guess this was bothering Mr. Knight so much that he literally pulled up the tapes. He pulled up the fucking tapes and he saw that we both were coming out the same bathroom at the, like not the same time, but we both came out the same bathroom. And he was just like, y'all thought y'all were fucking slick. Like, y'all thought I wasn't gonna see. Anyway, so after that, he sent me home. He said, I don't even think he sent Shira home. He hates Shira, so that's why he pursued it. But with me, I guess he would have been like, whatever. I don't know. He just hates Shira because Shira gets away with so much because everyone else loves him. Because he's actually like a little charmer. But Mr. Knight hated his ass. And he would have had any opportunity to suspend him or expel him. He tried to do it. So he ended up calling my parents. And at the time, he was kicking me out of school. Well, like for the day, whatever. And um, that was when my dad was home. He came, got me. He was so mad for like a uh, like couple hours. Like He'd even say nothing to me, he, how mad he was that I got caught in the school bathroom, in the faculty bathroom, with a boy. Even though I tried to tell her, I didn't really do anything. But at that point, it just looked really bad. Anyways, that was the first time I ever got a beating in my entire life. And yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, well, it was a beating. That was basically my two times I got, you know, caught with a dumbass boy who actually had a baby the whole time. I didn't even know about that. Like, anyways, I got caught with that fool and he had a girlfriend the whole time anyway. He was never gonna make me wifey ever. And I was just too dumb to realize it. And I got in so much trouble for this guy. Like, so much trouble. Nigga, like, dudes are not worth it. Like, let me tell you, dudes are not worth it. For real anyway so that was my little story time i hope that suffices like i really do hope you guys enjoyed this little story time um and yeah with my scam of boo um and yeah that was pretty much it you guys so i will 
talk to you guys later make sure you guys follow me on instagram and snapchat and tumblr i'm sorry i keep itching my nose oh my gosh it's just, it's just so much but yeah follow me on instagram tumblr and snapchat that's where all the magic is happening and you're missing out if you're not so i'll see you guys later bye Y'all say Rihanna is trash. It don't matter what a peasant like me thinks, though. She's out here, she's slaying everybody, and she's making coins, and that's all that matters.